Hey, how you doing? My name's Ryan, and today I am returning back to my custom Lego Dunder Mifflin to add the kitchen. So the kitchen was a relatively simple model that took inspirations from episodes like drug testing, the merger, and the cover-up. The model was pretty easy to design, a kind of a small sliver of a set, almost diorama-like, that includes a sink, some countertop space, a small little storage cubby with a fan on top, a table, chairs, and a fridge that takes inspiration from the design of the fridge from the LEGO Modular Fire Brigade set. Great fridge in there, really nice. And because the model was pretty simple, it was also relatively inexpensive. So I took some of those extra funds and put them towards some custom pieces and prints off of firestartoys.com. They are a great site for minifigure, minifigure parts, and custom printed pieces, tiles, and even accessories. Really great stuff on that site, highly recommend it, and I'll be sure to show off some of those pieces later on in the video, but for now, let's get building. So I think the kitchen turned out pretty well. It's definitely small, but I think it's pretty close to the real scale of Dunder Mifflin's kitchen, which is a relatively confined space, much smaller than the break room where all the employees actually eat. One of my favorite features in this set is the microwave, where I used a one by one keypad tile for the microwave buttons. I think it looks really good. As for the minifigure, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to include Stanley Hudson. With the torso and legs from the mayor, of the Town Hall Modular set, the face of Winston Zenimore from Ghostbusters, and the hair of Percival Graves slash Grindelwald from the LEGO Harry Potter custom minifigure series. I thought it was the perfect combination of the slicked back black hair with the gray on the side to show some of Stanley's age. As for accessories, Stanley has his pretzel on one hand and a custom 2x2 two two printed crossword puzzle in the other hand. This is one of the pieces from Firestar Toys that I purchased and I am in love with it. It is such high quality, beautiful, I'm not sponsored by the way, just a really big fan of firestartoys.com. Also included in the kitchen is a Firestar Toy custom build of a coffee pot because every office has to have a coffee pot, even though I don't drink coffee at all. Not a fan of the taste. Some of the other pieces I bought from firestartoys.com include a new Jello piece for Dwight Stapler and Jello, an Olympic gold medal referencing the Office Olympics, a couple others that I can't reveal just yet, and a teapot that I painted green for the famous teapot gift that Jim gives to Pam. I might put that on Pam's desk. Also at reception, finally, is the plant, which the office ladies continue to reference in their podcast. Every time there's a new plant, they mention it, so I figured I have to put a plant at reception. And not gonna lie, when the kitchen is added to the rest of Dunder Mifflin, it looks a little bit weird because it's kind of messing up that perfect square-ish shape that the series had up until this point. But don't worry, once we add more sets, it'll look more and more like the complete office. And I am so excited to be back to work on this project. I cannot wait to finish it and have all of Dunder Mifflin right next to me every time I build a new set. If you have any suggestions of details I should add throughout Dunder Mifflin, let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.